All right, fellas. There was one thing I didn't know, and it was that Michael Rappaport was in this game. Of course, you know, ever since he was on Friends as a beat cop, he has to appear in everything as a beat cop. Even his likeness in a video game. Anyway, Cole Phelps has just been uh, promoted to detective. And now he's wearing plain clothes from the 1940s. So let's see what's going on with him. I've partnered Phelps with everybody's favorite pole, Stefan Bukowski. <laughs> Hope you like work, kid. Bukowski sure as hell doesn't. So that's why we have partners, right? <laughs> okay, okay, can That's not guys. Michael Rappaport. He just looks like Stick him. Stick with Bukowski. Come on, Phelps. I don't want to. Why am I walking by myself I automatically? Care. I don't go in for letting gangsters off scot-free. I do. We're buddies. Me and the gangsters. I'm an undercover agent. For the mob. Now I just gotta have subtitles on. Don't turn off your system, fellas. Let's go. I said let's go. I'm the boss now. Out of my way. What do you want me to I'm say? a detective. You too, you. Michael hey, Rappaport. I wanna jump over the railing like in Red Dead. Come on, let me do it. Fine. Alright, I'm coming. Hello? Where do you go? Let's go. That's me. Oh, I'm driving. You know this place? Okay, L1 is break. I get it now. Where is my siren? What am I doing? You single-handedly killed 40 Japs on this hill in Okinawa. There we go. Everybody out. How do I reverse? I can't remember how to reverse. I don't know. I don't remember how. There we go. Guys, don't you hear this siren? It means get out of the freaking way. Stop it! I need to make sure I know how to do that correctly. Where is he? Oh, here he is. Hold on. Let's get out. Gotta run after him. Where is he? Up on the roof, officer. He has a mask on his face. Thank you, miss. What? What does this loser think he's doing? Shooting at cops? You're gonna hang for this, fella. Never. Where the heck did he go? Son of a... Go goulash. Slide down, Phelps. Out of my way. I wish I had a siren. This is police business. I don't see him. Where is he? There he is. I'm gonna get you. He is a terrible shot. I wish I had my lasso for crying out loud. I don't like how the camera moves without me. Come on, Flatfoot. I need to enter Deadeye. You wanna back off. I'm trying. I need Deadeye. <laughs> I killed the hostage. That's why I need Deadeye. I need dead eye, okay? You need it. You fool. Thank you. I know where you are. No, don't go back up, Phelps, you imbecile. Golly. Out of my way. This is police business. Oh, he's way ahead of me. Shut up, everybody. I'm a detective. I wanted to use dead eye for crying out loud. Thank you. Let's do this again, Phelps. Forgot to aim. I can aim. Is somebody gonna tell us what the No. That's right. Better to shoot him first. Ask questions later. I'm part of the mob. I should get an award. Watch it. Physical Education Freight Depot. 1120. That's right. I did the right thing by calling this in. Just give him your story and you'll be all right. Yeah, listen to Freddie Prince Jr. This is your first case, Phelps. It's okay to admit it if you're stumped. What have you got? There's blood all over the interior. All right, we'll take a look around. I'll keep Mr. Wilkie talking, but don't make him wait too long. He's the restless type. What's this I see? This? Or this? My fingers are getting antsy. This? Or this? Colonel Mustard with the lead pipe. I mean the tire iron. I can't find anything. Put it back. He got a live pig. I'm keeping it. All right, let's look at the blood. I said let's look at the blood. A lot of blood for a blood force injury. It was a pig. Any sign of the guy? Not unless he's in the trunk of the car. He's not. Okay. The victim looks to have lost a lot it of blood. It was a pig. <laughs> That's it? I could have told you that myself, Phelps. You're a detective for the ages, I'll tell you what. Oh my, look at all this blood. He must have lost a lot of it. Unless he's a pig. Okay, I think I'm done. What else you got for me, Doc? Dr. Lift? What is his name? Adrian Black? Let's look at his ID. Married. Sounds like an average guy. What was he doing out here? Dying. Oh my gosh, would you look... Happier times, I guess. Would you look at that creepy smile on her face? It's like... She knows she's about to kill him. 
after this photo, and it looks like Drew Carey is in the background. How dare you? That's creepy. Let's look at the glasses. Drew Carey's glasses. Stenzel glasses. Very good, sir. You did it. I want to look at the A. Guys, move it along. There's nothing to see here. I'm going to shoot you all. No, I can't. Oh. It was with the lead pipe. All the clues are finished. I'm driving the car. Home. Alright, what is it, guys? I looked everything. There's one more thing I want to check. I can't. You found the vehicle? Sure. They're lying. And then I saw all the blood. So I call the police. You a liar. Mind if I ask what you were doing? Killing? Here? I assume. You reckon I'd take a shortcut. Sure. Uh oh. I may need help with the answers here. Did you see anybody else in the yard? Nope. Do you know Adrian Black? Do you know Adrian Black? No, sir. You're lying. You ever seen the car before? Funny enough, I did. Kind of spilled Another bold faced lie. The wallet by the car. Was there anything in it when you arrived? You accusing me of something, mister? Yes. Do you want the patrolman to hold you down while we turn out your pockets, Mr. Wilkie? Maybe I took a look. Maybe. But there weren't no money in there. We found a steel pipe with blood on it near the Oh, car. it's a steel pipe, not a lead one. Anything about it, Mr. Wilkie? No, sir. I don't like the look of your hat. I'm gonna doubt. Okay, fine. When you saw the blood, was it wet? It looked dry already. Oh, so you're an expert in blood spatter. Thank you for your help, Mr. Wilkie. Somebody's got to inform the wife, Phelps. You're done here. We'll head over there now. Let's go. Let's go, buddy. Best friend. I'm gonna beat you. I got shotgun. Hold. Hold. Oh, make your partner drive? I got shotgun. I said I got shotgun. You can drive. That's right. And where exactly are we going? <laughs> We're going to the black residence. 620 Bunker Hill Avenue. What an idyllic home to be shot in. Let's go introduce ourselves. You talk to her, Phelps. I'm no good at the shoulder to cry. She's not crying. She's probably laughing for the insurance money. Just a minute. Your husband is dead. We have some bad news, and we'd rather discuss this in private. I'm Margaret Black. She knows what's coming. She knows. It's the gallows. Your husband drives a blue Lincoln, Mrs. Black. I knew something was wrong when he didn't. That's come right. Home. He's dead. We believe your husband may be injured. He <laughs> found a pipe. On the scene injured oh, with that oh, much blood my poor Adrian. <laughs> i'd like you to try and stay calm and remember everything that you can about last night my partner and i are going to take a look around of course officer anything to help secure my husband now that is so insincere i'm telling you you're lying you out. lying daughter of a witch all right let's go where are we going i can't see have a good look around there's got to be something in here to go i can't on. see my map to show me where the clues are oh this is definitely a cue Clue. Lie down. Make yourself comfortable. Probably didn't even sterilize that needle. With that menacing music, it's of course an evil. Is this a cigarette card? Cavanaugh's. So who brought this home? Lady, can I use your phone? I didn't even ask. I need an address on a Cavanaugh's bar. Certainly, Detective. One moment. Kavanaugh's Bar, corner of Aliso and Hewitt, south side of Union Station. Thank you for your Thank glorious you. script reading. Man, these are just branching out everywhere, aren't they? Hey, you mind getting out of my way, sport? Going to the bathroom? Come on, man. You have to ask first. I need to use the bathroom. Insta heat. This was only recently installed. Well, well, well. Looks like we got ourselves a good old-fashioned fish fry. Ma'am, I need to use your restroom. Oxidol. She used the Oxidol to poison him. And his blood went everywhere. Nothing significant. Thanks for telling me, Felpy boy. I'm gonna climb out the window now. Can I loot? Can I sleep? Open it up. Another stencil. Stencil. So the glasses are a match. How convenient. And here's the picture of Drew Carey. <laughs> <laughs> it's uncanny. Why would you kill Drew Carey? Such a nice fellow. To my Adrian, this thing gets more and more interesting. Oh, was was Drew Carey having an affair? Well, well, well. A used ticket to Seattle and a suitcase gone missing. 
Someone couldn't wait to get out of this house. She's still waiting, sitting patiently. She ain't even making me tea. Separate bedrooms, separate pictures. What gives you? They weren't a couple at all. Nice flowers. No use leaving the thing half finished. <laughs> They're telling me you got the wrong piece, pal. So the pipe missing from Mr. Black's here is the same one that killed him. <gasps> oh no. Seems like the assailant is a little closer to home. Alright, time to question my authority. I mean, Mrs. Black's authority. Is my tea ready yet? I'm alright now, detectives. Sure you are. Let's talk. We found a receipt in the trunk of your husband's car for a live pig. A pig? That would be Frank Morgan. He's the foreman at my husband's plant. A very shady character. You're lying. Tell us about the photo of Adrian in the bedroom. It's from his most recent business trip to Seattle. Now that's definitely a lie. You're not looking at me, lady. You're lying about the well, photograph. Well, that took a Mr. turn. Black. You're incredibly rude and insensitive. I have no heart. I told you what I know about the picture. Seriously, I'm a tin man. Look at my stone-cold face. We saw the concealed message, ma'am. What about Nicole, Mrs. Black? He thinks I'm stupid. But women sense these things. That's why you killed him. Did your husband tell you where he was going last night? Did he? All he said was he was going to meet Frank for a Oh, trying to pin it on Frank, eh? I, I'm sure I'll see what he has to say about this. He came home early from work. He never comes home early. How suspicious. And he went out early. You're too. lying. Was your husband wearing his glasses when he left here yesterday? Yes, he just bought a new I know, pair. I'm a detective. Go on. I kept telling him to throw those old ones away. It looked terrible. Oh, that's why you killed him. Can you account for your movements last night? No. You're not accusing me, are you? Oh, what an awful thing What to do you say. expect? I'm soulless. I cooked Adrian's dinner and waited. But he that's it. Take home. her away, boys. We'll keep you informed, Mrs. Black. Oops. This is a nice picture frame of flowers. Not hand-painted at all. 